Hey, good morning. It's Jeff Waite here at StockIdeas.org, and today I just want to do a quick book review of Millionaire Teacher by Andrew Hallam, uh, The Nine Rules of Wealth You Should Have Learned in School. Uh, so, actually, my grandma sent me this book uh, two or three years ago, and, you know, if you're interested in investing, it is pretty elementary, but I think that's important, especially if you're just getting started. So for the average Canadian, uh, this is a great book to just kind of get grounded in the best practice of personal finance. Um, kind of along the same guidelines as the Money Sense Guide to the Perfect Portfolio. And in fact, uh, Andrew Hallam, the author, is actually featured uh, in that book and is a regular contributor to Money Sense. So this book is, you know, geared to Canadians who are interested in learning more about wealth management. Kind of by the subtitle, you can tell that it's relatively introductory, uh, you know, rules you should have learned in school. But it is a really cool book uh, that's gotten some really good reviews. And, you know, the thing I like about it is that the first part of the book, I mean, the whole book itself is only about 150 pages and it's quite quick to read. Uh, but the other thing, you know, that I enjoyed is this first little bit, maybe 60, 50 pages, is about uh, Andrew Hallam and how he uh, became wealthy. And as per the title of the book, he's a teacher that has over a million dollars in his stock portfolio. And this was written a number of years ago, so I'm sure that's multiplied as the markets have improved. So basically, you know, it's in the first sense cool to see how just like a regular person earning, you know, fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year. Uh, can save up money and, you know, where he cuts costs and how he has managed to grow this stock portfolio. So that's pretty cool just to, like, see kind of that roadmap. And then the rest of the book is quite practical in terms of advice uh, and what the average person should do in terms of personal finance best practice. Um, you know, there's a page in this book about, for example, TDE series funds, uh, which are some of the lowest cost mutual funds in Canada. Um, and this is where I first heard about them was in this book. Uh, and that's, you know, basically just common sense, best practice, uh, personal financial management, uh, and, you know, kind of things you need to know uh, if you're looking to invest your money uh, on your own or even with a financial advisor, just what to look for in terms of no fee financial advisors and that kind of thing. So, I really do recommend this book, um, especially if you're just getting started out. Whenever my friends ask me, you know, Jeff, what finance book should I read if I'm just, you know, earning some money and wanting to save it, this is one of the ones I always recommend. Again, it's pretty introductory, relatively elementary. So, you know, if you've read The Intelligent Investor and if you've read Security Analysis, you know, this is probably not uh, something you want to focus on. On the other hand, if you're just getting started, uh, there are a lot of really good lessons, and again, it is cool to just understand some of the like tips and tricks that <coughs> the author, Mr. Hallam here, uh, has used to build his own portfolio and stuff, especially for Canadians. Um, you know, there's a lot of personal finance books along the lines of I Will Teach You to Be Rich that are great, and but, but they're just more centered towards Americans in terms of uh, 401ks and Roth IRAs. This talks about TFSAs and RSPs and that kind of thing. So again, for Canadians looking to get started in investing, I really do recommend The Millionaire Teacher. Very quick read uh, and tons of practical advice. So definitely check it out. And if you're looking for more information or you want to maybe check it out on Amazon, uh, click the link below this video to click through to stockideas.org where you can see a review of this book uh, and much more. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching.